well. Got a little fire going. It's pretty good, actually. Seems to work good. This little device here, you can flip your burgers, cook your burgers, flip your burgers. I guess you can cook anything in that. It probably holds two hamburgers. I got one on there. This grill's suitable more for one person, I would say. The fire's going good. Uh, it's my opinion. Two pieces of wood cut in half works good. It's actually hotter than you need. Smoking, buddy! <laughs> I had some visitors when I first started, so I may not play the first part of this. But as far as I can see, a hot fire going. Now that fire is two pieces of wood split, which makes it basically four little pieces, four half pieces. Each piece is this size. So with two pieces that size, apparently you can cook a meal. It's going good. It's actually hotter than you need. Flaming. That's what you call flame broils. I think that little grease goes in there and makes it burn even better. Boy, it's a beautiful day. Probably in the 60s. Here in Chelsea, Alabama, on Wednesday. This is uh, the hamburger meat I'm using is like 72% or something, which is a lot of grease in it. I like that when you're cooking on a grill. It lets the uh, grease drip down and gives it more flavor. To me, I think that works. This little device was like 280 something at Walmart. tarp down on my flames. I better adjust that real quick. This is a amazing way to cook. So easy. There's two little pieces of wood, or four, actually two pieces cut in half, as I showed you. I don't know what kind of wood this is. No problem cutting it. It's white inside, so it seems almost seems dry. Could be hickory, maybe. Maybe. Hope it is. Give it a good smell. I'm curious to see this uh, little bug. Perfect stuff. This is. Uh, it doesn't come with a grill. It comes with just a stand for a pot. So you could cook on a skillet. I just thought it might be extra nice to get some of the smoky flavor. So that's what I'm up to right now. nice breeze. Really, if you notice, once it's lit like this, once it's actually started, there's very little smoke. I see the very slightest smoke. So, you know, it's not like some miserable, you know, it doesn't do this except the fact that it's well ventilated. It's a good size. The small one's a little harder, I'm sure, but I haven't got the small one. I've seen videos, the five ounce size. This one's taller and bigger around, and <laughs> doesn't look like you even need to feed any more wood. Just two pieces, or four, four of these. And uh, I got another four or five over there. Yeah. 
doesn't have a lot of smell to it. This wood here, kind of shaggy looking. I bet it's hickory. I enjoyed this hammock seat. Here's a piece of it before it's cut, before it's chopped in half. So it looks like an inch and a half. So two of these cook a meal. That's not much. Now the fire in the bottom is glowing embers, so the wind blowing in there is soaking the fire. Very good. I'm uh, very pleased with this stove. I think I'm going to get years of use out of it. And, uh, a lot of places you camp in Birmingham or the, the local park, Oak Mountain, they have grills supplied at all the campsites which is frustrating for those of us that don't intend to use them, but I guess it's nice for those that didn't come prepared with their own stuff. But if you go hiking and you ended up wanting to cook, I guess you could. I can't use this stove, uh, can't build a fire in the park anywhere but at the camping areas. So that's rather frustrating to me. Uh, need to find somewhere else to hike, I guess. <laughs> anyway, for right now, I'm just learning, getting started. Seems to be uh, very enjoyable. This burger's still cooking. The fire's pretty hot right there. Oh yeah, it's still hot. It actually looks like it could be done. I'm not sure. That side looks well done. I think it's done. Anyway, this little green screen thing, wow, two dollars and eighty-eight cents, I think it was. <clears throat> I think you could take half of this and, you know, even cut the handle off and use it on here. It would fit. All you need is half. It's just nice to be able to flip whatever you're cooking and it holds it in place. So, uh, I believe I'm done. I'm going to carry this inside the house and put the eat on it. <laughs> so, that's about all I have for today other than to show my other axe. I brought it out here. This is a tomahawk also. It costs more than the other because it looks better. But uh, I think it's made by two hawks. Uh, the other axe worked very well. I don't know that this one's as good or better. I'd say the other one works just as good or better. And this one may need... I had sharpened the other one, so possibly this one is not as sharp. The angle is different too, I believe. That may be chopped a little different. I'm going to give it up for now. I'm going to show you this a little closer. So you can see the axe. It's very nice. I like the shape, and it's got a nice head on it. So maybe I can get it with light. Not probably not. There is no light there. No sun to hit it. Anyway, it's a very nice design. I like that. I like it a lot. But, uh, that's where we're at. I guess I'll close it up for now. See y'all later. Have a good day.